Hello, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another mathematics presentation. So here with me, I have a question that came in mathematics paper 1. The question reads, write the four inequalities that define the unshaded region R in the diagram below. So this diagram is showing the four inequalities that define this unshaded region R. Okay, so how can we write the four inequalities? So in order for us to answer or to describe these inequalities, let us first rename our lines. So I'm going to pick the easiest one. We'll make this as our line one. Then we'll write or we'll make this as our line two. Then uh, the easiest one also will make this one as our line three. Then we are also going to have this one as our line four. Okay. So now to describe line one, look at the type of line. Okay. The type of line that is used, it's a solid duality, a solid line, which is passing through the point x is equal to 4 in the x-axis. So first thing you write x equal to what? 4. So here we write x, we leave space, we write a 4. Now, we need to use the inquiry sign, okay? So since it's passing through the x-axis on the point x is equal to 4, the shaded part is this side which is greater we're having numbers that are bigger than four four eight nine as and so on and so forth and the question is they want us to dis describe the unshaded region so the unshaded region in this case is this uh region going on the left side and this region it's less so this will be x less than or equal to what to four so the reason why i've said x less than or equal to four it's because of the line. This is a solid duality, a solid line just drawn like this. Okay? But if we had a dotted line like this, we would have just said x less than e, 4. So this is the answer for our line e, 1. Let us now find the answer for our line e, 2. All right. So to now answer for line 2, line 2, this is the line. And this line is cutting the y-axis on the point y is equal to 2. So line 2 is cutting the y-axis on the point y is equal to what? 2. Now, we want to describe this using the inequality symbol. So I'm going to write y, we leave space, then we write a 2. So, uh, let us now look at the shaded part. The shaded part is down here, okay, below 2. So below 2, we are having numbers that are less than what? less than 2. And above we are having numbers that are bigger than 2. So the inquiry symbol that we are going to use is C greater because we are describing the unshaded what part. So what type of a line is it? You can see that it's a dotted line. So if it's a dotted line you just say greater without the equal to sign. So Y is greater than 2. So this is our answer for line 2. So let us now answer for our line 3. Alright, so we now come to our line 3. So remember we said this is our line 3. So this line 3 is passing on the x-axis. Okay, on this point, negative 2. This is the x-axis or negative 2. So this line 3, we have said is passing on the point x is equal to negative 2. Okay, so we are going to write x, we leave space, and then we write a 2. Now, what is the shaded part? The shaded part is this side as we go on the left-hand side, okay? Then the unshaded part is on the right-hand side. So we need to describe the unshaded region, okay? So the shaded part, we are having numbers that are less than negative 2. This is where we are going to have numbers such as negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. These numbers are less than e. Then on the right hand side, going this side now, we are going to have numbers that are greater than negative 2, such as negative 1, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. So in order for us to describe the unshaded part, we have seen that this unshaded part, it is greater. Okay? So we are going to use the symbol greater. Now look at the type of the line that we have. This line is a solid line, just drawn like this. It's not what? dotted so if it's a solid line we are going to put equal to so this will be greater or equal to two 
this will be our answer. Sorry, negative 2. X is greater or equal to negative 2. So, we are just remaining with our, our fourth line, this one. Okay, so let's see how we can answer it. Alright, so we've now come to our line 4. So, uh, this line 4, the first thing that you need to do, okay, on this line 4, because this line is not just cutting the x-axis, it's also passing on the y-axis as you can see. So if you have a straight line like this and crossing two different axes, you need to first find the gradient. After finding the gradient, then you find the equation of the straight line. So how do we find the gradient for this line? So to find the gradient for this line, we are going to pick the points. So the way we are going to pick the points, we can see that this line is passing on 8. This is x is equal to 8. It's also cutting right here on y is equal to 6. So we know that this line is the x-axis, which is the same as y equal to 0. And this line is the y-axis, which is x is equal to 0. So to make our coordinates, we can say we are going to have a 0, okay, 0, 6. So I've picked this, x equal to 0 and y is equal to 6. We are also going to have here, x is 8, right here, 8, comma, what will be y? 0. Here, we have said y is equal to 0. Then from here, we say this will be x1 and this will be y1. This will be x2, and this will be y2. So, how do you find the gradient? This is the formula. M is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So, here we are just going to substitute. So, we proceed from here. We say M equal to, where there is y2, we are going to put a 0. Where there is y1, we are going to put a 6. So this will be 0 minus 6 over, where there is x2, we are going to put 8. Where there is x1, we are going to put a 0. So this will be 8 minus 0. So we continue, gradient is equal to 0 minus 6, you will get a negative 6 over 8 minus 0, you will get 8. So M equal to uh, we look for the highest common factor of 6 and 8. And this highest common factor is it's a, it's a 2. We say 2 into 8, it's a 4. 2 into 6, it's a 3. So we're going to have negative 3 over 4. So this is our gradient. So after finding our gradient, now we can find the equation of this same straight what, straight line. Okay? Alright, so now let's find the equation of this straight line. Okay, we have our gradient m is equal to negative 3 over 4. So to find the equation of this straight line, we are going to use this formula. y minus y1 is equal to m for gradient, pen bracket, x minus x1. Okay, so here on y1 and x1, remember we came up with the coordinates. We came up with uh, 0 comma 6, okay? Then we also have the other coordinate, which is 8, comma 0. So from these coordinates, you can pick any coordinates, okay? So let's say we pick this one. If we pick this one, uh, we say this will be our x1, and this will be our y1. If you want, you can pick 0, comma 6. you get the same answer. Then m is the gradient. So let's just substitute. y minus our y1, it's a 0, equal to our m is a negative 3 over a 4, open bracket. Our x minus our x1, it's 8. Then we do this. So we're going to have y minus, or y is equal to, because it's a 0 here, so it's not going to make any impact. Okay? So just write y is equal to. Uh, and then negative 3 over 4, we open the brackets right here. So negative 3 over 4 times x. This will give us negative 3 over 4x. Then negative, this negative times this negative inside, 
to give us a positive. Then 4 here, 1, 4 into 8, it's a 2. So uh, 3 times 2, this will give us a what? A 6. Now, what are we going to do from here? This what you have, it's the equation. But we need to write the equation, okay, by using the inequality sign. So what you are going to do is, uh, this. all right, so what you are going to do now is, we are going to write uh, the same equation that we have found. Y, we leave space. Then we write negative 3 over 4 x plus 6 okay plus 6 so remember we need to use the inequality sign okay so what inequality sign are we going to use first of all this line it's having a solid line okay so the inequality sign that we use must have the equal to okay so the shaded part is the upper it's the upper part so this upper part is greater the upper region is greater while the lower region down here is less so we are describing the lower region so this lower region we have said it's, it's less so this is going to be y is less than or equal to negative 3 over 4x plus 6 this will be our answer okay so thank you so much everybody come to the end of our session this has been your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. Bye-bye.